Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and I'm tired of the 2D with Paper Mario. So let's go back in time 20 years to play Wario Land on the Virtual Boy. Yeah! 20 years ahead of its time. What do you mean you didn't own the Virtual Boy back in the day? Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, who needs... 1080p and lifelike colors and all that with the oculus but anyway yeah let's delete my practice file there <laughs> just turn into a bomb and destroy it like that <laughs> okay well yeah let's go inside and check out what we can do here i don't know why they decided to make a wario game first instead of a mario game but well okay whatever works for you guys Whoa, what is that thing in the water there? I don't know. Don't you have, like, a home to go to or something, Wario? I don't know. I don't really know that much about Wario myself. You can't just turn an M upside down and expect that kind of a name to work. What next, Waluigi? Hey, they're stealing all my treasure! Get back here, guys! I have no idea what the hell those things are. Ah, whatever. I'd like, also like to give a special thanks to my brother for finding the emulator that I'm actually using for recording this. Took me a little while to figure it out, but between the two of us, we could do anything. Haha! -ha! How are we gonna get in there to get our treasure back? Whoa! Kinda like... Kind of sounds like the sound effects from like some of the Game Boy Zelda games, which I suppose would make sense. Nuts. Whoa. Let's get out of here. Find out wh where we can get that treasure. By the way, uh, yeah, I'm, if you press the B button and push the directional pad and whatever direction you want, you can dash there. All right. Press the A button, you jump, so control's pretty straightforward here. Let's see, we got a little jumping frog thing. I don't know what that is. Let's see, we got red lava and red blocks and red coins. Uh, yeah, everything's kind of red. I don't know why they chose a red color for this. Hey, hey, all right. Now we're Viking Wario or Bull Wario or whatever you want to call it. He does kind of look like Bald Bull, Bald Bull, a little bit. Whatever works. Yeah, you uh, stomp on an enemy, and then you can pick him up just like Mario Two. Throw him into the cloud, and we get a big coin, which is worth twenty. But yeah, if you've got the Viking helmet there, whatever that is, on Wario. Yeah, you can hold the down button as you're jumping in the air, and then you'll break a block. Or you can dash and hit a block, however you want to do that. Crawl under blocks, you don't even have to do that uh, sliding maneuver. Ah, oh, nuts. Let's try that one again. But anyway, this game goes in 3D if you go like this. Ha ha! Go ba between, back and forth between the background and the foreground, or... Whatever all that's called. Well, first things first, we gotta get a key that, uh, well, you need in order to complete the level there. Hey, hey, a kitty statue. I think I saw that earlier at the beginning there. I don't know what those are for. I'm guessing you need that in order to, like, get, like, the treasure at the end or get a good ending or something or, I don't know. It's been, like, 20 years since I played this game. Yeah, you can just dash right over those gra gaps in the floor there. Don't even need to try to jump. Well, you can't even. Now we got a little bottle there that if you're a small Wario, it'll make you big Wario. And if you're a big Wario, it'll give you a Viking helm there. And you can dash all the way around, try to find hidden treasure and blocks and all that good stuff. But yeah, one thing I just don't understand, like with the whole virtual reality headset or with Oculus or PlayStation or, well, everyone seems to be kind of working on something like that. But it's like, 
Well, wasn't one of the reasons the Virtual Boy miserably failed because... Uh, what is it? Like, people would get headaches or whatever. You can only play it for a limited amount of time or something. And then I read about this, like, virtual reality headset. And they're still doing the same thing. I mean, at least from what I see, it's like, oh, yeah, you don't want to have young children watching this thing or whatever. So, uh, yeah, it's only for adults or something or other. I don't know. But, yeah, there's, like, some health or safety standards and it's like how is the new virtual reality going to work around with that stuff i don't know but anyway yeah we got a couple mini games we could do like that first one you just get a bunch of hearts by the way when you get a hundred hearts you get a one up and let's see if i can find the right one hey, hey all right so you pick one of those blocks and if you get the right one then well, you uh, multiply your money. And if you screw up, you lose half your money. So, oh wow. But yeah, you can only do that minigame three times and well, then that's it. And they keep track of your progress as we're going up the tower or a mine. It kind of looks like a elevator in a mine or something like that. I don't know. But, well, I figured I'd show off a few levels from this game. It seems to handle the emulation pretty good. Yeah, well, I don't need that, so. Those power-ups, by the way, won't disappear. Let's see. Ha-ha! Yeah. So, yeah, if I, like, get hit somewhere down the road, I can just go back and uh, pick it up again. Or, well, just pick it up in general. So, yeah, it won't disappear over time or anything like that. Ha! Gotcha. Kind of reminds me of, uh... Uh, what is it? That subterranean era, or area in, uh, one of the Oracle games. It's been too long since I played that. Aw, oh, come on! You were stunned. You can't hit me. Well, evidently he did. Whoops. Let's see if I can hit that nuts. Come on. My aiming is really bad. <laughs> Oh, come on! Oh, screw this. Get out of here. <laughs> Need to find that power-up somewhere. Oh, now the cloud uh, shows up. To be had the hearts don't restore my health or make me bigger or something or other. Yeah, they're ju they just uh, give you one-ups or whatever. But, all right! Uh, yeah, I can't get those hearts or break those blocks. Not without... Uh, Viking Wario. Well, I might as well try to get as many coins as I can out of it. I don't really know what's the point of having all these coins. I mean, okay, you have coins, but then you have mini games that give you more coins? I don't know the point of all this. I mean, it's like raiding in an MMO. What do you raid for? To get the best equipment. And then you use the equipment to raid more? I don't know. I've never really done a raid in, uh, like, an MMO or World of Warcraft or whatever. I've never, uh, stuck around that long to be that sort of thing. I've, I've done, like, dungeons and stuff, but not like a 40-man raid or something like that. That's insane. Okay, you know what? Screw the blocks in the, uh, background there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna go all the way through that pipe again. Ha! Well, let's see what we can find here. Hmm. Maybe I can break some of these? Ha-ha! Well, let's see what we got here. Just a one-up, that's it. Well, I don't need those. I'm doing pretty good on my own, as it is. Ha-ha! Let's see, is there a way I can get down there? Oh, can I get that? No. No, I can't get down there with just, uh, dashing into stuff and... Yeah, I can't break any more of the blocks there, either. Ha! Let's see... Is there a way to get back there? I don't know. Let me, uh, go back a little bit. Let me see if I can find, like, a hidden block or something. Ah! Wow! I'm surprised I found that on my first try. Alright! Okay, now let's, uh, keep on going.
Yeah, I can't get past those fire blocks early on. Oh well. Whoa! Nuts. Now I can't even get into the background there. I'm gonna have to go back and pick up that Viking power up that I missed before. Fortunately, it's right there. One of those, I don't know what that other power up was, what, a potion or something? I don't know. But that only increments your powers, Wario. The Viking helmet there automatically sets you to, well, Viking Wario. Uh, what was it? Yeah, even if you're a small Wario, you just skip big Wario and go straight to Viking. So, all right. Lost Vikings? No. No, that's another game of yours. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that works too. Oh, what's this? Fire Wario! Or, what is that, a dragon hat or something? Or a seahorse? Or, I don't know. Aha! We got a flamethrower hat! <laughs> how do you deal how do you deal with something like that? You can't. Well, we're getting tons of coins. What is this? Majora's mask? Have they ever let you get more than uh what is it? Or like more than five thousand rupees in a Zelda game? Cause like I know you could get like five thousand in Majora's mask, but I don't know about uh, any of the newer ones, so. Haven't really gotten into the 3D Zelda games too much, which is why I don't LP them. But, well, maybe someday. Let's see, oh, right, I was like, wait a minute, how did I get back here? Oh, right, it looped way back in on itself, I guess, so. All right, now I can set things on fire with my hat. Fortunately, Wario is bald, or at least I think he is. So, yeah, he won't uh, worry about burning his hair off or something. And I've already done the mini games there, so yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. Whoa! How does the flamethrower work underwater? How does it even work? I don't know. Whoa! They got fish with chainsaws for their nose. What were they on when they made this thing? Heck, what were they on when they made that, this console? I don't know. It's like, yeah, we, uh... I mean, it's like all these companies seem to just be ignoring Nintendo's experience with this. I, I, I don't know, and it wasn't very good experience either. I mean, what is going to make this, like, not have the problems that, you know the virtual boy had I don't know my brother has an oculus but uh, yeah I have not used it personally myself I don't mean to uh, you know complain about the oculus I honestly I really don't know that much about it I'm just ignorant not that I really care either though But, whoa! Yeah, watch out for those sharks. They will kill you! Lots of coins, though. Whoa! If I press down, I can swim down a little faster past that shark. Whoa. Sharknado? No. No, not in this game. I don't think. It's been like 20 years since I played the game. And I don't even know if I'm getting all the treasure or whatever. I'm just screwing around. <laughs> oh, I guess those water currents are pushing me down or something? I don't know. Oh, well, we got those spikes. Kind of reminded of Mega Man 2 in a way with those chainsaw noses that those fish have, except... Like, we get water, or not water, uh, metal manpower. Ow. Nuts. Okay, time to go back, get another, uh, fire hat. I think I'm gonna need that in order to open something up up here. But, now well, it's right back here. Easy enough. Man, I'm really getting a Game Boy Zelda vibe out of the music. 
You know, one thing I also noticed with uh, the emulator I'm using here is that when I first started using it, it all the colors were like red, blue, or purple, or whatever like that. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like one of those 3D things where it's, uh, what is it, like you gotta wear the glasses or something like that? I never really liked that kind of 3D. Or any 3D, really, for that matter. But yeah, I don't know how that's supposed to work. I mean, would that work on a regular mo computer monitor? Or would I have to get, uh, what is it? Like a real 3D monitor for my computer or something? I don't know. I know, uh, because I got like Sony, Sony Vegas Pro to edit my videos together. And I know they had an ob or had a setting for, uh, what is it, to render stereoscopic 3D videos, I think, or something like that. I don't know if that would work for something like this. I mean, I haven't really gone into this in too much detail really thinking about this. I'm just, I just got the emulator, the game, and then just decided to screw around with it. And see what I can do with this. But yeah, like... Uh, what is it? If you notice during the uh, screen selection, or stage selection, or whatever, wherever it was at the beginning, you, uh, they had an option for, like, an automatic pause. So that's, like, every 20 minutes that thing will go off and pause the Virtual Boy so you won't get headaches or something like that, which seems kind of silly. Not to mention, the like, they had a stand that you could put the... Uh, what is it? The headset on to rest so it didn't have to... Like, be tied to your head or something, rather, like that. Just seem, kind of seems intrusive. Let's see, can I kill those things? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe if I go down here. No? Okay, yeah, I don't know what's going on with them. Whatever. Let's just move along past them. Nice and easy. Oh, almost jumped right into them. Unfortunately, when you've got Flamethrower Mario... Then, or Wario, you can't, uh, do, like, a super jump or whatever and break blocks under you. But with Viking Wario, ha-ha! Can I break that block? No, I guess not. Hey, hey, all right, treasure number three? I think, or is this two? I think it's three. I've just been babbling for so long, I forget what stage I was even on. Let's see if I can get past these guys. All right. Can I, uh, oh, I was going to say something about using my flamethrower, but I don't have that anymore, do I? Oh, well. Can I hit that block? No? Okay, never mind. Sometimes there's, like, tiles on the ground or the ceiling or whatever, and it looks like you can't do anything with them, but you can sometimes. But I guess not here. Whew! Just barely nipped my nose. Got a little lucky on that one. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to play a little while until I uh, get to the boss somewhere along the line. But yeah, screw the minigames. We're done with that. Hmm, can I hit that block? Yes, I can! Haha! -ha. So yeah, 100 hearts. We get a 1-up. All right. How hard could the boss possibly be? Well, okay, careful. Wait for it to hit the ground. Boom. Whoa. Nice. I think I'm going to have a hard time hitting the boss. Or killing the boss. With just small Wario. Well, I'll do the best I can. But anyway. Did we get him? Oh. Well, it's not over yet, viewers. What is this? Kind of sounded like Jaws there for a minute. Okay, wait for him to charge up and then start running away from his mace. Whoa! Okay, dodge that, okay. Wait for him to come over here. Oh, come on! Nuts. Okay, let's try that again. Well, at least I got Big Wario this time. And I don't have to fight the boss again. If I don't get him on this try, then I'll just skip to whatever my successful attempt is. 
But anyway, okay, let's try this one again, pal. Basically, what I was trying to do was jump on his head uh, before he could start charging up his mace again. Maybe I need to just, like, jump over it and hit him like a Hadouken or something. I don't know. Ow. Try that one again. At least I got a hit in. Takes three hits to kill him. One, two, three. Just like a Tootsie Pop. I wonder if they still make those. And now I want a Tootsie Pop. Come on, game. Quit holding out on me. Ah, nuts. Okay, whatever. Okay, what is this? Take five or six? I, I, I've lost count. I don't know. Whatever. Well, I've got plenty of lives, so... Let's try that one again, pal. I suppose I could go back to the previous stage and try to get a Viking Wario thing going. There's one right at the end of the stage. Ha-ha! All right. Just gotta keep an eye on that mace there. A flail, I think, is probably more so the correct term. Whatever. Ha! Huh. Yeah, as long as you can dash around, dodging that thing is relatively simple. That's... <sighs> How many times is it gonna take for me to take this guy down? Not very much going on with the music here. Oh, wow. Okay, I dodged that. Come on. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do that with small Wario. Careful. Come on, you can do it, Wario. Ha! Yeah! Phew! So what do we get for killing the boss? Oh, man, I really wish I had Viking Wario so I could dash around and get all these coins, but... Oh, well. They're worth, like, 20 apiece or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, I wonder what's the point of collecting all these coins. I don't know. Aha! Hooray! Okay, well, let's oh, unlock this door and head up to the next level there. Can we get all of Wario's treasures back for him? Find out never! April Fools! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!